Welcome back to the Wizard Shop and another edition of Wonky Tools. We're in between Thanksgiving and Christmas and you guys might be thinking about stocking stuffers or Christmas ideas. I got another handful of these weird wonky tools again. We're going to check them out, guys. So I've got one, two, three, four, five different weird little tools here that I've picked up over the last few weeks between the last time I did one of these episodes and this time. And we're going to give them a shot on the old tractor again. If I strip out a bolt or something on there, it's not too big of a deal. It's not like it's a Bentley or something. So the tools I have today, some of them are look like they might actually work pretty good. And some of them is like, what the heck kind of tool is this? So without further ado, I guess let's get started. First mystery tool we're going to try today. It says it's made by loggerhead tools. It's called the bionic wrench. And you squeeze the handle and it closes in these little teeth on the bolt or nut that you're working on. So we're going to give that a shot real quick. I think this one may actually work. I think it may actually be a decent tool. There's a bolt right here for this steering, steering gear housing and we'll try to get it loose. Ah! Just about hurt myself. These teeth aren't grabbing too well. Let me try a smaller nut. I think this would be good for smaller nuts and bolts like on a bicycle or something. Let me give one more shot here. Let me find something that's much smaller. Okay, so there's a couple of small bolts, little half-inch bolts on this hydraulic valve actuator, whatever you call this thing. I'm going to try this out. It just rounds off. It just wants to... The more you increase the force on the nut or the bolt, the more force it takes of squeezing. And some of these, I just can't squeeze it hard enough. As hard as I can is not enough. It, want, it fights you. It wants to push them apart. I don't find really much use for this tool, the way it's acting. This is a brand new tool. There's nothing inherently wrong with it. Maybe this would work for bicycle or something really small, but I would not recommend this tool at all. I just about hurt myself pretty bad here a minute ago on it. But uh, for every day, the teeth on there, you, look how they wiggle. You can't get a good bite on something that has play in it like that. I would not recommend this tool, guys. I really had high hopes for this one, actually. But after trying it out and seeing how these teeth flex and it just flies right off, uh, this is a no-go. This is out of a score out of a 10, a 1 or a 2. I wouldn't even put this in my emergency toolbox. So let's set that one back down and find another one. That's a no-go for the bionic wrench. We're putting it over here. We have two sides, junk and usable. This is junk. No, no, we're not using that. Next is this, it looks like a little hockey puck, but it's got various different sizes. This is not a weird wonky tool. This is actually one of my good tools, but I'm going to use it as a leverage to try this out. It's got all these different sizes on it how they can be metric and standard at the same time. I guess it works. So this has little 12 point teeth and unless I have a 12 point fastener I don't recommend that on a bolt, especially a tight bolt. But let's go ahead and try it out I guess. That's what I bought it to do is try it out. So let's give it a shot. Try it on this nut here. It actually worked on this huge nut. It didn't slip, it didn't fall off. Excellent. Let me tighten it back on. Let 
Let's try this one out here on the steering housing again. The little bionic wrench we just tried didn't even stand a chance. Try to find the right size here. There we go. It worked. There we go. So far, so good on this little little guy. I'm impressed. Give one more on this little bolt here, and then we'll give a great give a score on this thing. So I know this bolt is a half inch bolt. And it says half or 13 on this little tool, but it's too large. I feel like it's going to round over. Yeah, it just, that's the disadvantage of 12 point teeth. Mm, on these other two bolts or nuts over here that I tried, it worked really, really good. It also has a quarter inch nut driver, or a, you could put tips in there like a Phillips or Standard or Torx. I would say on a score of 10, this is probably a six or a seven. I would have this in, in my emergency tool bag. It doesn't take up any room hardly, but it has all these different sizes and you would just need some sort of a screwdriver or something to put through the middle as leverage. I don't know why it didn't come with something like that, but it didn't. This won't work in a tight spot like, like this here. I can't even get on the... You need a real wrench. There's times you just have to have a wrench or a ratchet or whatever. But I say it works. It does okay. But occasionally with these 12 point teeth on here, you're going to run up against this issue here. I don't know if it's just not sized properly or what's wrong there, but... Huh. Well, anyways, six or I'd say six on this. It is usable, but there are some deficiencies to it. So we're going to put that in our usable pile here. You can actually can use that in a pinch. It's not the same as having a nice set of gear wrenches or snap-on wrenches or something, but it does work. So the next thing we're going to try, this is made by Olsa Tools. It claims to be a ratcheting crescent wrench and it has this little flexible head on it and I guess there's a spring loaded the wheel the uh, the adjustment here is spring loaded I'm not sure how that's going to work it didn't even give instructions it just said it was a ratcheting crescent wrench I don't know all we can do is try let's check it out so far, it seems to be working. Once you get it on the nut or bolt, if you go the, this direction that you want to go, it works. It's, it's nice and solid, but when you go the other direction, the spring-loaded adjustment here just folds over like that. The thing I'm finding is that it sticks into that position almost. Could you sit under a car and just ratchet away on this thing and get like a normal ratchet wrench or something? No, I'm not seeing that. Let's try this one. And it's kind of a 50-50 shot. Once these teeth expand on here to let you ratchet, it's a 50-50 shot if they're going to come back into position again. Let's get a close-up view on a, one of these bolts up top and let you guys see it. If I go in the Titan direction, you could go either flip it over and go the other direction. It could be tighten or loosen. But you have to push in this direction for it to lock into place. Now, let's try the ratcheting idea. So supposedly you're supposed to be able to go this way and the teeth spread apart. 
but as you can see, it takes a few tries to get it to come back to its original position so you can start turning the fastener. See, it's not, it's not locking. I don't think so, guys, on this one. I, I would call this a knuckle buster. You're going to get under the car, you're going to be turning on, on a nut, and you're going to try to use the ratcheting feature. It's not going to catch. And then you're going to hit your hand. I can already tell that that's what's going to happen. It looks like a well-made tool, and it looks like it would work. It could work as a normal crescent wrench. It, it, it does do that. But when you try to use the ratcheting feature is when you run into trouble. So this Ulsa Tools ratcheting crescent wrench is a busted knuckle waiting to happen. That's what you're going to get with this tool. Once these teeth spread apart, for some reason they stick. It doesn't want to come back into position. So I would say this is a three. You could use it as a crescent wrench, but why would you want to? Just get a regular crescent wrench. So you get a three out of this one. Two more to go. So let's put that in the not usable pile. I wouldn't, I would rather just have a regular crescent wrench in my emergency bag, not one of these. The next one is like a universal socket and it's got these teeth that you turn to adjust the size of the teeth. It's kind of like the bionic wrench that I just used, but this one you can put a, uh, a 3 8 ratchet on it. It's not just, it may have better grip because you're not using the hand power to hold it in place. It's actually got threaded adjustment on it. So let's give it a shot. I'll use one of my handy dandy 3 8 ratchets. Okay. And let's try it on this one again. Oh God, don't Hello. scare me like that. You're working on the old tractor? Well, I'm demonstrating these wonky weird tools, these as seen on TV tools. Oh, the cheap Chinese stuff? I just finished up a knuckle buster. Oh really? Yeah. Let me sit on some nuts here. All right, I'll watch what you're doing. <laughs> okay. So that's supposed to grab onto that? You adjust it, the teeth to the size of the bolt or nut that you're working on. I see. Oh, it works. It doesn't feel very good. It feels very, very like it could break at any moment. Yeah. Yeah, I could see that rounding off the nut pretty. Especially if it was really on there. Let's see if we can make it do that. Oh, yikes. I suppose it could work. It can, if you have bolts that aren't super, super tight, I suppose it would work, but try one right here. Sales so cheap. Yeah. Nothing beats a good old sturdy American tool. All right. Whoa. I just about punched your leg. Tanya Harding me there. <laughs> Whoa. Why? So that's a fail. Huh? That's a fail. Big old fail. Yeah. This is the same issue we just had with the bionic wrench. The teeth are, they're not sturdy. They wiggle. You can't get a good bite on a bolt when the teeth can't stay square on the bolt. Is this what Loretta Bobbitt used on her hubby? We can't say that oh. stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's vague enough of a reference. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a no-go. On a score of 1 to 10, this is a 2. I guess I suppose it could work in, a, in an emergency, but would I want to use it every day? No, not a chance. It's a very similar design. Fascinating. That one failed miserably. Yeah. Where is it made? Loggerhead tools. Loggerhead. <laughs> made in the USA. It's got a patent number.
Mm. Anyways, put it on the not use side. Looks like you got one more, huh? The smart wrench. Wow. This one has, uh, it says metric sizes or standard. I imagine when you're adjusting a thumb adjustment, it could be any size you want. Got it opened up here. This is called the smart wrench, is what they call it. And it has just a single shaft in the middle that you turn this knob and it adjusts to whatever size you're working on. And I can say now, I don't see that this is going to work very good. It looks, it looks dangerous already, so. Danger is my middle name. <laughs> yeah, let's give it a shot. I don't know, guys. It feels pretty dangerous. <laughs> oh, this episode of Wizard, Wizard busts his knuckles. Bust his knuckle. Yeah. Well, I did get it loose, but the way that this is angled here, you can't. It doesn't seem very good. Let's try this one. Don't you just love the infomercials for these tools, you know? I'm tired of having so many wrenches and then they just dropping the wrenches everywhere and looking so frustrated at life. Yeah, pretty well, much. We got a solution for you. This just feels so dangerous right now. Oh! It actually worked. How about that? Try a smaller one here, right here. Well, it won't even fit on that one hardly. There we go. Wow, it actually works. It does. The one thing, this tool does work, but the one thing that scares me is you see how it's beveled on the ends? So every time I try to get a good bite on something, it tries to, to rock on the nut or bolt. And the only thing you have holding it... Sorry. You had to touch Sorry. my... I'm just not used to it. The only thing holding you from busting your knuckles is the center little shaft piece. So, although the tool does work, I don't feel comfortable using it. I feel like I could really bust my hand pretty bad on it. In an emergency situation, I would say yes, this is a usable tool. And on a scale of 1 to 10, I'd probably give it a 5. Nice. It could get a job done. I, I, re I really wouldn't feel comfortable using it, though. Yeah. Maybe Hi, Car Do you think this might be a good tool for someone who's, like, putting together, like, a baby crib? No. Because there was a few times I was holding the bolt in the way I know that it would work because I have experience. But somebody who's just... Trying to put something together, I think oh, they're going to get hurt. I would break. Yeah, I'd be in the hospital <laughs> for sure. <laughs> you would. I'd be in the hospital with normal normal wrenches. So you got to turn the shaft. Yes. I don't. I don't know. I don't so, like so it. It's, so whoever shouldn't use it to put the crib together. No, he shouldn't. <laughs> when his when his crib is ordered, he probably doesn't want to use this to put it together. I'll pay the guys at Toys R Us twenty bucks to. Yeah. Wait, Toys R Us doesn't exist anymore. Where do you get stuff? Where do you buy things for babies now? Isn't there like Buy by Baby or something? Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's weird. <laughs> this poor tractor's been through a lot of abuse on the <laughs> Wizard's channel. It has. Poor thing. It has done a good job for demonstrations. Yes. Well, let's put this one in the usable pile. It could be usable. It is possible to use it to get a nut or a bolt loose, but as far as... Would I use this in my shop? Actually, any of these tools, I, I probably wouldn't use any of these tools in my shop every day. But it is interesting to show you guys some of the tools are out there. You're out there shopping at a discount store and you come across, oh cool, look at this cool wrench. Well now you know what it can do and what it can't do. Well, I don't know what he's trying to do. It's a stress reliever. <clears throat> do you want to take that home with you? Uh, it's a good stress reliever, yeah. I guess it could do that. Yeah. There's not much else used for it. it the guys just watched a minute ago. I did bust my hand almost. Mm -hmm. So. Learn to bob it. 
<laughs> okay. Cigars. Well, if you guys want to see real tools, what kind of tools that I use in my shop every day, check my Amazon Affiliates page on the link below. Everything's listed for sale there. If you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and hit the little bell, hit the subscribe button. You won't be disappointed. Many more cool videos to come. Again. Thank you for watching. There we go.